we have now been joined. You got to turn the music down. There you go. All right. There you go. We are joined here by the Drip King himself, Adonis Felios. Adonis, long time no here. You got to turn the radio down, please. Please turn the radio down. Oh, I have no radio on, so don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm hearing myself echoing, so you, you have to you have to turn whatever you, you... You must have us on in the background. Oh, I don't have anything on. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to do my best to get through this because I have a whole bunch of stuff I'm hearing on your end. But obviously, WCE, you've been a big part of things. And for those that are listening and watching here... Talk about wrestling championship entertainment. What it means to you to be a part of this roster? Well, I've been a fanatic of WWE, WCW, partially ECW for probably since as I was a little tripod. Okay, all right. So that's certainly uh, good reasons why. And obviously, when it comes to uh, luck of the draw coming up here later this month. Talk about uh, maybe some of your goals here for the season in Wrestling Championship Entertainment. Well, basically, just there is one particular goal in mind, and that is how can I say it? I can put, be more blunt about it. I'm dripping in gold. <laughs> Show that belt on the screen there for us. Right now, I am the current reigning defending AIW World Heavyweight Champion. All right, what does that mean to you? Let's think of this as a holy grail of this company so far. The company... I helped start jumpstart from. And that is all insane wrestling. All right. We'll certainly uh, have to see how that uh, maybe success uh, hopefully transitions for you with our wrestling championship entertainment. You've got a ton of noise in the background. I mean, this is, I can't, I can barely hear you. So I'm going to try my best to go put, put you through here with this. But, I mean, what are your goals in wrestling championship entertainment? Well, it's quite simple, Mr. Tom. Just make sure I stack up some wins. Sometimes losses may not be the best option, but I can handle the pressure somehow. But, however, you know, give it my all. Is there anybody in particular that you want to maybe target or wrestle? We heard Zero just before, and he spoke about Craven Rage, and everybody seems to speak about Craven Rage, and you've been a very, very vocal person in a lot of our shows here in different comments and such. So, I mean, anybody in particular you have an eye on this season? Well, I'm going to get to that, Mr. Bryce. There's plenty of plenty of my bucket list I want to challenge face-to-face. -face. Even if it's an attack match, a fatal four-way match, triple threat match, the sky's the limit. I can challenge who knows. I can challenge Darkfire the next day. I can challenge Tyler Art the next day. I can even challenge my best buddy in the world, Dash Andrews, one of these days. And who knows? I can challenge... Tell us when he says. Okay, all right. So let me ask you then this question. In terms of, let's say, when we talk about some of these names, you mentioned Catalyst, you mentioned Dash Andrews, even. I mean, what do you uh, what do you plan to do to kind of maybe put yourself in a position where you can challenge those wrestlers? Do whatever I can, however I can, to the best of my abilities. Play by the book, number one. Number two, make sure you're always one step ahead of that. Okay. All right. Well, we'll start. Go ahead and jump the in. Most, the most important thing of all, is 
see what you've been fighting for. All right. Well, obviously, a lot of stuff there we'll certainly see. I know you'll definitely be a big part, be a big part of things at Luck of a Draw. And I wanted to ask you in terms of what do you want to say to anybody who's watching and listening and is hearing about you for the first time, what they can expect from you as a wrestler or anybody else that you want to address? Could be in the back, could be a fan, could be here on Sportswire, whatever it might be. Well, Tom, on a slight personal note, I'm going to say this. I want to do this to pay homage to my deceased biological father who died in his sleep last year on April 15th at 7.30 at night in his sleep. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Um... How much did he appreciate what you did out there as, as a wrestler? Well, I can tell right about now, especially up to this point to this day, he's upstairs in heaven right about now, smiling with the best seat in the house. Amen to that, certainly. Amen to that. And obviously, he's definitely looking down on you. He's definitely very, very proud of you. And I want to give you the floor now, because obviously we have Tyler R. coming on next, and, and obviously we're kind of going shotgun with you and everyone else here in, in the roster. And I want to give you the floor now for some closing thoughts, any social media, anything else you want to plug, share, say, and the floor is yours, and I can't uh, thank you enough for this opportunity and your support of Sportswire Radio. Well, Tom, here's my closing moment. Sean Joby, I look back at the tape, and you challenged me to a very, very historic champion versus champions match. Let me incline for you for a little bit. As far as your challenge goes, I accept. Mm. Could we see your championship that we have there, the AIW World Championship versus the Ronin, Ronis Championship Wrestling? Resident rock star Sean Jovi sounds like there's something a lot of people might want to see there. So we'll definitely have to see that. And I want to thank you for this opportunity. And we look forward to hearing more about you in the future. And uh, we definitely enjoyed some of the Drip King here tonight. Before you depart to the next person, Mr. Bryce, I want to say one last thing and in closing. Sure. As far as your challenge goes, Sean Jovi, like I said before, I accept. At your terms, the best WCE ring has to offer. I possibly see you at Dead or Alive. Will it be a wanted Dead or Alive between the resident rock star Sean Jovi and the Drip King Adonis Felios in a champion versus champion match? It looks like it. We'll certainly have to find out here. And these are reasons why you want to follow our friends over at Wrestling Championship Entertainment at WC Heat on Facebook, WCHeat.com, and also on YouTube as well. And my friend, I want to thank you for this opportunity. We'll definitely do a longer interview uh, in the future. And uh, certainly, uh, thank you for the opportunity. And, Mr. Bryce, before you head on to the next participant, you have to try some of this. We will definitely do so, but you got to give me better audio next time because I'm having a really, really hard time hearing you, and we have to fix this next time. But we will definitely do more. You are the Drip King. 